as we look beyond the local group of galaxies and further into the cosmic vicinity, we find, at about 55 million light years, a galaxy of exceptional size, M87. This is a gigantic elliptical galaxy that hosts at its very center an active ultramassive black hole. The existence of the black hole is now generally accepted, but they have never been imaged until today. With the Event Horizon Telescope, we try to do just that. It's a worldwide astronomical project that links the most sensitive radio telescopes on four continents to take the first ever image of a black hole. The AHT ray is going after what's known as the event horizon. This is the invisible boundary thought to surround all black holes, a point um, beyond which light cannot return. The regions around supermassive black holes experience the most extreme conditions that we know of in the universe today. To observe M87, astronomers need to reach a sensitivity and the spatial resolution which would be capable of the reading the text of the newspaper in New York by a reader situated in Europe. To achieve this level of resolution, the EHT synchronizes facilities around the world and exploits the rotation of our planet to form one huge telescope with a theoretical aperture equal to the diameter of the Earth itself. Actually, EREM's facilities are the only telescopes on European ground that match the specific requirements for this global project. It's the largest surface with accuracy better than the width of the human hair. It's extremely sensitive and well adapted to detect even weak sources. In April 2017, the EHT array pointed for the first time its antennas to the center of M87 and its supermassive black hole. It took us several months to collect the data from all the telescopes because some of them are built at remote locations with difficult access, like the South Pole. And it took us even longer to analyze the data. But the results really exceeded all of our expectations. Uh, we got it. It was there right before our eyes. The very first image of a black hole shadow. And this historical result is exactly what was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. We actually managed to see black hole shadow illuminate by the glow of the warped light as it gets sucked into the, the event horizon. I think we've been extremely lucky. I'd expected that we have to work for years and years, do many observations until we get a final image. And then we look at our first source and we see that ring. We see the event horizon and we see that shadow, that dark region. And you know immediately we are looking at an event horizon and a black hole from all sides at once in this, this thing. We see at a region where time stops. These observations also confirm the incredibly large mass of the black hole in M87, which is several billion times the mass of our Sun. The Noema Observatory, which is ERAM's second facility, joined the EHT array in late 2018 and is the most powerful observatory of its kind in the Northern Hemisphere. So with its high precision antennas, the Noema Observatory gives the EHT array a sensitivity and spatial resolution which have never been obtained before. The next EHT observations are already scheduled. Here at IRAM, we are getting ready for the next big challenge. With this first image, we made history. 
And now we want to go even further and take the first ever picture of a black hole in the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. <laughs> 